It is 727 and you're watching Daybreak and we are less than a week away from some major stars coming to the Cayman Islands. Johan Blake, Michael Frader, Carmen Lita Jader and our very own Sidani Mother. So they're just a few of over 80 track athletes who are taking part in the inaugural Cayman Invitational track meet next week. Here with more is Samantha Whitaker who's part of the organizing committee and doing all of the public relations for this. Yes. You're a very busy girl right now. I am. I am. <laughs> you know, we are exactly one week away from the Invitational. So it's very exciting times. Um, for those people out there who do, haven't heard about the Invitational or who want to know more about the Invitational, just to give them a little background, um, the Cayman Invitational was actually Sidoni Mothersill's brainchild, and she has brought down 80 professional track athletes, some of those whom you mentioned are huge headliners, um, and they will be competing here in Cayman on the Truman Borden Sports Complex next Wednesday, May 9th at 5.30. It all starts at 5.30, and this is, a, this is a big family event. I think everybody in the I, – I'm thinking that the stadium's going to end up being sold out. because no, it will. It, yeah, it, it, you're, you don't have this opportunity to go and see all of these amazing athletes. And one of the really – cool things about it is that there was this plan to make sure that local athletes were included in the whole process. Tell us about some of the events and how that was all organized. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, one of the goals of this event was obviously to be a platform for athletics on the local level to kind of be an inspiration to develop younger athletes. Um, the event starts off actually with, we've got two races by the um, primary school girls and boys just for, you know, entertainment value, but also to kind of give them an experience to be on the track um, so they're going to start of a huge in, audience. in front of a huge <laughs> local audience you know yeah. supporting them and then we've also got the national races followed um, right thereafter which of course will have the you know older students um, take on take to the track and compete and then we go into the big headliners obviously with the 400 uh, the 400 hurdles with the women and then it just continues on so it's a jam-packed night full of excitement but we've made sure to obviously include the local athletes so you know we've got um, the, the Morgan twins competing in the professional level. We've got Terrell Cuffey, Kimar Hyman, and of course, Sidoni taking on at the 200 meters. That's so. right. I am really looking forward to this event. And we do want to remind people it is at 530 and really need to get your tickets ahead of time, right? Yes, yes, please, because we are anticipating a sold out crowd. So we're encouraging people to go out and actually buy the tickets beforehand. Um, tickets are available at all Lime retail store locations, okay. um, JN Money Transfer and Funky Tangs. Let's talk about some of the support from the community. What's that been like? Honestly, the Cayman Islands community has been amazing. Um, you know, we've gotten our corporate sponsors behind us. We've got the Ministry of Finance. We've got DART. We've got Cayman Airways who came on in a huge way. Um, Lime, the Department of Tourism, the Ministry of Sports, Water Authority, Cayman National Bank, um, and aside, but and you know they've been amazing. You know, aside from also giving us monetary support, they've given us you know you know, other other support in other areas, you know, for example, CNB is coming on board with volunteers for the event, which we are extremely grateful for. But then at the local level, you know, the support for this event has been phenomenal. Um, from the individual standpoint, you know, we've gotten some great people behind us and they're all rooting for us and they've all expressed, you know, how proud they are to have an event of this caliber here on our shores and how proud they are in Sidoni for putting this event on. And so just all around, you know, the community as a whole, corporate community, you know, um, public community, like everybody has got rallied behind us and really made this event come to life. So and you've had individuals just come up to you and, and say like I want to I, I think this is a great event I want to write a check well, uh, yes, I mean, that's that's I mean, impressive, right? they, they've come on board and mm -hmm. said, you know what, we believe in you and we support you, yeah. you know, and so that, uh, you know, that has been the most endearing and touching, you know, mm -hmm. because it really was through, you know, like I said, as a whole, this, that this event came, came about, you know, it was through our corporate sponsors and as well as those individual sponsors who, who believed in us. One of the things you mentioned was that this is an important sports tourism event. So already there's been some international attention given to this. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you have to say about that? It's actually very exciting because from a tourism standpoint, this, you know, that was our goal to obviously build this event as a, as an, into the sports tourism, you know, platform that the Department of Tourism was trying to build upon. So we just wanted to build something to add on to it. And to date, like the international like recognition we have received has been phenomenal. You know, this event, I've been working on this event for probably the past eight months from when it was in the inception phases um, through to now. And it's just to see it grow so tremendously and to see where it's reached is really, really touching. 
All right, well, yeah. we look forward to Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Get your tickets ahead of time. Yes. We look forward to seeing what's going to happen next year as well. Yes. Well, Samantha, thank you so much yes. for joining us this morning. You're so enthusiastic. <laughs> it's great to have you on the Always show. Always a pleasure. <laughs> and just, I want to say again, thank you to everybody who supported us, you know, um, to all our corporate sponsors, to all our individual sponsors. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you.